Hey guys, it's John, and welcome back to my playthrough of Alone in the Dark. This is part five. In the last video, we went in there, and just now we saw a ghost close it. Ghost caught on camera. I'm not able to debunk that one. Um, yeah, we investigated Dr. Uh, Morley Gray's uh, office over there, and we got. Everything that we needed, I think, except for there's something apparently in the clerk's office that I haven't interacted with. I'm not sure. We have uh, a lock that we can open now in the stairwell. We can go down to the basement to check out the infirmary, the quarantine, the laboratory. There's so much to look at down there. I'm excited. Um, let, let's address the elephant in the room real quick, though. This word. Uh, this. That word. This word. Land. Lanyap over there. Um, it's uh, it's been a very controversial word. I asked how to pronounce it in the interim. I pronounced it Lanyape because I was just guessing, and uh, I was told resoundingly that it's pronounced Lanyap. That's it. Uh, and so I started saying Lanyap. But then another group came out of the woodwork and was like, "No, you gotta keep mispronouncing it as Lanyape because it's really funny." I think this is the very first time that I've had a group of people beg for the mispronunciation back. Normally, normally you guys are fuddy-duddies, and you're just like, Oh, thank God he's finally pronouncing it correctly. I was screaming at my screen. So, um, I guess I'll say Lanyape. It is kind of funny. Oh, you guys, you guys in the in the comments that were claiming to be New or from New Orleans were cracking me up though. You guys were just like, "Oh, I can't believe he's how, how is he not saying it right?" Like you guys just sit around all day and say "lan yap." Give me a break. It's probably something that like your mom says or something. Come on, you don't say "lan yap." It's blocked. Okay, come on. Come on. What? It's blocked. No, it's not. Dude, you need to get in there and you need to move that broom out of the way. I don't know what your phobia is of moving brooms, but it's got to stop. We're in a life or death situation. Move the broom out of the way. Move the bucket. Move the stepladder. Move the piece of wood. You can do all four of those things. It's not blocked. You're just lazy. Oh, my. Wait, wait, how are we... Before we... Okay, so that's... You know, I remember hearing that noise earlier. I guess that stuff, like, fell down in front of the door or something? I don't know. Or no, that was a different sound. It's been blocked like this since we spawned back in. But wait, we can't even get to the grand parlor that way. So... And we also can't... Wait, we can't get in from that way either. Okay, we've actually got to go through the gallery, but then it's... But then the... Wait, how do we do this? Okay, I guess we'll go to sitting room and Cassandra's room, because we got that, that piece of uh, the globe anyway. Um, so this actually isn't the way that we want to go. My, my mistake. It, get, it, it took me a couple minutes to get my bearings. He's been recording for how many minutes yet? And nothing's even happened. Are you sure you don't want to leave? I can't leave. I got a job to do. I can't believe that you're so... You're so dedicated to working for the man that you won't even leave right now. You won't even consider it. Uh, let's go this way to Cassandra's room. Oh. Detective Conby. Good to see you again. Solved your case yet? I'm trying. Hey, Grace, you okay? Oh, she is just peachy, detective. Are you looking forward to the Feast of St. John, Grace? I can't wait. Kids, ain't they great? What exactly are you planning for tonight? Oh, not much. We eat, we drink, we pay tribute to the wishing tree in the conservatory. The usual. Then why all the excitement? There is just something about tonight. Something is different. I think we all feel it. Besides, we got ourselves some new words for the prayer thanks to your buddy Jeremy. 
She'll come and turn the world inside out, and things will begin again. I don't like that mask. That sounds strangely threatening. You should come. Oh, God damn it, Grace. Stay put for once. Okay. They've written down something for my objectives, so here we go. The coffee was a deadbeat. His mere presence annoyed Conby. It was like watching the worst version of himself mock him by simply being worthless. While Conby enjoyed watching the child outplay the drunkard, there was something terrifyingly familiar about Greece. It was taunting him. Like he was supposed to remember, but couldn't. Okay, she's either your dead daughter, your dead sister from growing up, your dead, the child version of maybe your dead wife. I don't know. <laughs> so somebody's dead. That's how I. That's There's all I know. Missing. Yeah. Oh, uh, map of the Caribbean, Lanyape. Thank you, everybody. The Pirates of Pontron Train. More forbidden knowledge. Ooh, goody. So, so far, I've unlocked the shotgun cabinet and gotten a lot of forbidden knowledge, which... I don't know. A lot of this stuff is just like... I mean, is it really forbidden? I mean, this is just like... Talking about Gilgamesh and bull worship, it's like... I'm pretty sure this is just history. It's not forbidden knowledge, it's actually extremely bidden. Extremely bidden knowledge. Uh, what's this? Oh, Grace's drawings. How nice. We can place the stairwell key there for some reason. Wait, I already picked that up. It had me pick it up again, and then it said full. I don't know. What was this? Oh, he dropped that first floor hulky. I will take that. You better hold on to these. Wouldn't want him to get lost. <laughs> you know, David Harbour in this game, I think I was hoping for him to be a little bit more unhinged uh, sheriff from Stranger Things. What is his name in Stranger Things? I would just call him David Harbour. Um, yeah, whatever. He, cause he gets crazy in that, uh, in that show. Oh, death of the author. You guys ready for some more forbidden knowledge? What did you expect from them? You created too much. Oh, here, let's just have them read what it. What did you expect from them? You created too much. There wasn't any room to breathe. Your reification rendered all possible worlds void. You took everything they could imagine and constrained it into something that you didn't even care about. Or maybe you did. Perhaps you cared the most of all. Maybe you tried to save them from themselves. And that is why you had to die. Yeah, maybe. You know, there's a lot of voice actors in this game that have sounded vaguely familiar to me. And every time I hear one of those notes, I'm just like, hmm. I don't know. But I haven't been quite able to get there with it of like, ah, it's that person. Jeremy knew that the only one who could help him now was the guest in room number three. The room seemed to have been empty for so long, but that wasn't allowed to be true. The story needed to be different. To include something from the outside, he would bring the guest back to room three and show them what was in that safe. Nine, one, three. But those were not the right numbers. That was the combination for the safe in the clerk's office. I already did that. Don't you have to do that to get to this point in the game? Don't you have to go explore the... I mean, I guess not. But whatever. Okay, well, we already did that. Thanks. We already... I already knew that. Ah, uh, yes, the rot. I don't know if, uh... Is there anything else that's here? Let's check. Okay, we're blue now. So really, we gotta find some of Grace's drawing? Let's go to Jeremy and Batista's room? Wait. Perosi's room is locked. Why? 
It does kind of annoy me a little bit the way the game is just like you can't go here now <laughs> But I understand why you know, so you don't it, it saves you time so you don't go like hey, I wonder what's in You know Perosi's room the answer is nothing Don't worry about it. Don't go in there There's nothing for you To detective Carnby. Detective Carnby. I'm terribly sorry that my niece has pulled you into this mess. Please, with all my blessings, take her away from this cursed place. I have destroyed that eater of worlds and locked it away in the attic and retreated to a place of hiding. Tell Emily I'm safe. Tell her all the lies you can think of to make her listen. Take her back to New Orleans. Sincerely, Jeremy. Yes, very good. Jeremy, who is Jeremy's voice actor? I'm looking up right now. Because there's something about him that's like familiar. But I, I think he's putting on the accent. Where's the camera? Okay, I did not have that on my bingo card. Okay, if you don't know, go ahead and guess who the voice of Jeremy is. I'll go ahead and play him again. Combi. I'm terribly sorry that my niece has pulled you into this mess. That's crazy. Please, with all my blessings, take her away from this cursed place. It's Paul Mercer, a.k.a. Leon Kennedy from Resident Evil 4, a.k.a. The Merchant from Resident Evil 4, is voice acting Jeremy Hartwood. Detective Combi, According I'm to this, terribly sorry that my niece has pulled you into this mess. What the hell? Please, with all my blessings, take her away from this cursed place. Cursed place. I that eater of worlds and locked it away in the attic and retreated to a place of hiding. Tell Emily I'm safe. Tell her all the lies you can think of to make her listen. Take her back to New Orleans. That's crazy. Sincerely, Jeremy. Who else is, who else? Okay. I'm looking at the IMDB page. Cause now, now I'm like curious. Okay. I don't recognize a lot of the names right off the bat. Oh my god, Yuri Lowenthal is Mr. Waits. Oh, you know, I met, he was one of the voices that like I heard and I was like, hmm, something vaguely familiar about that. Yuri Lowenthal was, um, well, Peter Parker from the Spider-Man, Insomniac Spider-Man games. Um, and Spider-Man, I guess. Uh, he was, uh, Yosuke, uh, Yosuke, in, uh, Persona 4, among many other roles. Uh, Evil Within, he's the guy with the glasses, yeah. Crazy. Um, Liam O'Brien is Air Stern. I don't know who that is, but I think I've heard his voice, too. Liam O'Brien was, uh, Dio in Virtue's Last Reward. <laughs> I don't know how much crossover there is. Virtue's Last Reward with Alone in the Dark fans out there, but, um... Uh, well, you may better know him as Illidan Stormrage from Warcraft. Or Hearthstone, depending on if, if you like that. You are not prepared! That's how I know it. Okay. Brother, I need you to trust me. Sorry. This is the most important moment in our family's history. I know you have doubts and that the terrible Mama Loa told you lies. I would never betray you. I promise. Lottie. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, yeah, I don't really know, like... What are they planning? Now I've got Paul Mercer in my head. I've got Paul Mercer's sound bites. Where's everyone going, bingo? I mean, it kind of feels like that right now, I'm just saying. Like, where has everyone gone, you know? Um... Okay, we can go into the stairwell, finally. I'm assuming that there's nothing over there... Wait! Oh no, this is right, this is right. Okay, but here's the thing, it's blocked right here. Oh no, I unblocked it! Okay, now let's go down to the cellar. I'm so excited about this. An unexplored area. See, now this is like kind of that Resident Evil feel to it, you know? Are there gonna be monsters down in the basement? Get my shotgun ready. 
You want to open that up? No? What about that? Uh. Don't want that to fall on our heads, you know? Okay. This seems kind of fishy down here. It wouldn't be a horror game without, um... Some kind of, like, laboratory slash infirmary thing. What? Unspeakable cults. Fantastic, dude. Thank you. I don't know where that's coming from. I'm trying to I'm trying to listen to it. Here's the x-rays, the radiograph number 1, okay. Partial capture of a brain grinded by unsettling darkness. Very cool, dude. Thanks. Okay. Let's go in here. There's uh, a couple other things to pick up. Radiography notes. Radiography. Patient Jeremy Hartwood. Date June 14, 1930. Plates. Jeremy's skull proved difficult to capture properly. Partial radiographs worked best. A complete picture of the brain can be assembled by piecing three plates together. Oh, is that so? Observations. Even when looking <laughs> at an assembled version, a shadow covers significant parts of Jeremy's brain. Possible tumor, but more likely that the equipment is failing. Jeremy reacted strongly to the pictures and claimed to see a giant clay worm eating and displacing his memories. Notes. While this exercise has left me nowhere closer to an answer, I feel confident that a Burkhart lobotomy should sever all necessary parts. Of course, you guys were all about the lobotomies back in the day. Ah, yes, we just remove part of the brain. Hypothetical psychosurgery uh, based oh, here on I go. The ideas by Burkhart and the St. Petersburg research could end up saving Jeremy's mind. Severing the connections around the frontal lobe would certainly solve most mental afflictions. The procedure would be brutal in performance, as well as in efficiency. An ice pick pushed through the edge of the eye and into the skull would untether the nerves like Alexander cutting the Gordian knot. As this okay. would likely leave Jeremy in a very different condition, all other paths should first be explored. The medical instrument I would need for this lobotomy is missing and I should have Waits order a new one. You're missing an ice pick? Okay. Let's see. Surgery room key. Great. Radiograph number two. And... Oh. I need to get a fuse of some kind. Okay. Well, I got a spare fuse right here. I'm going back to this corner. I like it better in this corner. Okay, do I need to get another fuse, though? Okay, let's go to the labor laboratory. Oh my gosh, the black hole of the woods. Did you finish over here? Are you done? I think I'll take that fuse, thank you so much. Don't mind if I do. Oh, shut up. Is that all that's in here? Oh, we're in surgery right now? There's still something in here, apparently. I don't... I don't know what. It says it's pink. It's pink still. But... I mean... I'm trying... 
Yeah, it's, it's pink in here still. I don't know why, because I'm walking around and not seeing anything. All right, uh, maybe it's something that you see with the lights on? I don't know. Okay, let's put the other fuse here. Oh, sorry. Okay. Hmm. That's so mean. Wow. That's better. Red means scary, y'all. Are these all red rooms? Oh. Okay, so how am I doing this? Select x-ray plate. I mean... Oh. Oh, okay, so we're trying to get a full... A full x-ray. Well, this is kind of... I mean... Okay. Hmm. How are you able to get all, all three of these? Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll come back to that in just one moment. I'm gonna look right now. See, okay, you can interact with stuff now that the... Now that the lights are on. So I guess maybe we go in here. Maybe it'll have something. Yeah, we can go in here. But there's nothing in there. And now it's blue. Great. Okay, so we can solve the, um... Yeah, you know what? That's kind of annoying. That we can't, uh... Go, like, half the places in here. I need the key. Yeah, I guess maybe that'll be what this does? I'm not sure. Okay, let's take a look at the objectives. Dr. Gray had been putting Jeremy through some thorough medical investigation. He was trying to break through Jeremy's stories and get to some truth, just like Combi was. Could Dr. Gray have been trying to break the contract as well? I don't know. Uh, radiography notes. Piecing three plates together, a complete picture of the brain. I just don't, it, I just don't know how we're supposed to do that, but... Um, a complete picture of the brain. I, you can rotate them. Uh, okay, I see. Well, that makes way more sense. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. That's not right. Uh That's way off, isn't it? Um So I think it, Okay, I'm I'm doing it like the long way. It makes sense to me to have it like that. Okay, and then... Oh, that looks right. Look at that. That looks right. Okay, and then... I guess this. Well... Hang on. <laughs> The size is totally off. Um... Hmm. Okay, I thought maybe that would be it. 
Yeah. Maybe it's more... No? Okay, what about like that? Hmm. I mean, it, it kind of seemed like it. Okay. Maybe it's more like this. You know, having that saying radiography at the bottom, that that actually tracks. Hmm. Um This might work. Oh well. Okay, this might be it. We got it. Okay. Took a moment. Jeremy's darkness. Okay. A broken piece of burned clay. Its size suggests it being a part of a statue. Okay. Part of a statue, you say? Okay, we're all done here. I guess we can go up to the stairs. We can open up... That area, we can go to Grace's room, or we can go to the clerk's office. You know, it's kind of funny that we walk around this place with our- with our gun out. But, um... We don't actually use it here. Oh! Things have changed. I was wondering if that would happen. Why did this oh. happening? What am I supposed to do? Oh my gosh. Yeah, you can go faster. Huh. Ah, oh, okay. Can you please go? Okay, we can go into the attic. And we're back here. Well, perfect time to have a look around this place. Yeah, because we haven't actually had a chance to do that yet. Well, that was kind of weird, wasn't it? It's a, a noose. We actually, we can't, can we not interact with it? Nope, I'm pressing A and nothing is happening. Hmm. A, a tessellated shard, Lanyape. Prisoner of Ice. Ooh. Yeah, of course, it pairs with the Do Not Disturb sign. 1358? 5687, 1358? Is that something? At this point, anything's possible. Wow, oh, yeah, don't, don't fall down. Can you go across this way? No. Well, it doesn't look like you can go that way for the paint roller. Whoopsie. J.H. Jeremy Hartwood. Hmm. I see. Hang on, before we do that, I just want to look around for any extra lanyapes. What is that? It's a drink. What do you mean? What? It's the same drink you've been, like, guzzling down the whole game, bro. What do you mean, what is that? He says it all accusatorily, too. Like, what is... What did you just make me pick up? 
Okay. One and six. I mean, I'm pretty sure... It's like that, right? Okay. We gotta use the talisman. Wow, incredibly blurry. Thanks. One, four, wait. Is that a six or a nine? One, four, six. Hmm. I don't like brute forcing things, but I'm brute forcing this one. Great. <laughs> Yes, the noose. All right. <laughs> Is that us hopping down? Are we in a different place now? Well, as it turns out, um... The numbers there didn't really mean anything. So, and yeah, we're okay. We're in a different place. All right, let's hop down. Thanks. No, is this? This is where Jeremy's hiding, right? Hello? Is anyone there? Now, well, Jeremy? I need help. Wait. Can you hear me? I'm stuck in the mud and the fire is taking Jeremy. me. Jeremy. Where are you? The motor is dead. I can't do anything more. Hang on, Jeremy. I'll figure something out. I'll get the boat running. Yeah, we'll try. We'll try our best, but no promises. Oh, I see. Watch out, y'all. I just shouldn't open those things unless I need something, because now it's like... It's wasted. Kinda sucks. Oh, the Tommy gun, I guess. I don't know, I feel like the Tommy gun is gonna be really good for like a boss fight or something. To get like a bunch of hits. Do you think the Dark Man's gonna be here? There's a little obnoxious gas. I was getting ready to shoot it. That's so annoying, dude. I shot it twice. Thought I did anyway. Wait, it's still alive? Dude, it's still alive? You can't... Can't be serious. Where'd it go? Ah! What the hell, man? Oh. Is it dead? That's all. That took a lot of shots. I really underestimated that thing. Wow. Okay. You know, maybe I will take the Tommy gun out. Take the Tommy gun out for a little spin. Now I gotta look on the walls. For these dumb things. On the ceiling. The boat's wedged itself right into the bayou. If I get the motor started, I could try reversing back into the river. Yeah, sure, bud. If you want to try that. Be my guest. Alright, you know what? Ah. 
Very offensive. Okay. I'm just looking for those things. I'm probably gonna miss them still. Spending all this time being really cautious. Jeremy, where are you? It's a broken compass, Lanyape. Ooh, are you guys ready for some more <laughs> forbidden knowledge? There are many ways to cross a threshold. The easiest one is being invited. A door swung open, leading you inside. Another is sleep, hypnosis, or even sudden fright. There are those who fold spaces that challenge Mobius, or jump through angles that defy Euclid. If you learn to properly use your talisman, you could go anywhere. You wouldn't even need to rely on the fluttering wings of the shrieking Biakis. Wow. Now that's some forbidden knowledge. Oh. Huh. Oh, now come on. Bro. Please, I actually do need some ammo. Look at me. Look, I'm so in need of ammo, and you're not going to give me any? Kind of awful of you. Yeah, they're not going to give me any? What the hell? Life jacket. Okay, a Molotov. Good to know that that's there. Okay, there's nothing here. Let's go, I guess, on this side. You know, they show that thing. That enemy. Can I drop down? They show that thing right there. Okay, you can drop down. And they act like, oh, watch out. They're gonna be, yeah, I know. Thank you, I know how to get to the engine room. Those things are gonna be everywhere, watch out, and then they're not. What's this? The winch is powered by electricity. I need to find a way to turn it on before I can use it. Thanks, Sheriff of Nottingham. What is his name in Stranger Things? If you know it, by the way, you should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> Not something to be proud of. Okay. That's so stupid, dude. Okay, I guess we'll just keep shooting. He's not doing any damage to me, I will say. This little shit. Oh. They get like, they get like iframes. Oh my God. They get iframes uh, from Sometimes, like, right now, they're invincible. Okay. Well, now they're dead. Holy hell. Those things are really tanky. But, like, right after you shoot them and they're doing their little, like... You can't shoot them again while they're doing that because they have iframes, so they're invincible. You have to wait until the animation completely stops and then they start running around again before you can shoot them because I was, I was, like, wasting some of the shots trying to shoot them while they were stunned. It's like some really small things like that with this game that I'm like it, make, it makes the combat feel I think 
I'm fine with the combat being clunky, but there's just there's certain things like that. I seriously, you're, you're not gonna give me anything. Like I'm I'm starting to run a little low on ammo, and you're not gonna give me anything. Come on. Anyway, little little like bits of nuance like that that I'm just like I really wish that like they could keep the combat clunky. Wow. Without, uh, you know, they wouldn't have to give up any of that. They could just make it a little smoother. Catch it? Okay. And I'm not getting any loot. I don't know if that's like a bug or what. Like, I understood it earlier. Uh, when I was full up on ammo and stuff, it made sense. Because I thought it was like that... Kind of... Um... I don't know what to call it. Kind of a generative AI thing, I guess, where it it gives you loot based on what you have. All games have that these days. Okay. I think I'm actually... Okay, there's hatchet here. Whatever. There's a lot of throwables here. I guess maybe we were supposed to, like... Looks pretty weak. I just need something to break it. Thank you. I guess we're supposed to lead the enemy around and use the throwables on him because there's like there's like six or seven throwables up here. Maybe I should have tried to use it. I don't know. Okay. Should we go down this first or the other one? Uh Let's go down this way, I guess. I like how the branches make the ladder noise. Alrighty. Oh, okay. I wonder where that part upstairs was. This like where needs fuel. Yeah, you know who else needs fuel? Me! It's not giving me any ammo or anything. Empty gas can. Okay, that's that's something, I guess. Can I turn this? Great. Everything that I try to open here has like no no lootables. That's very frustrating. There have been like 20 things that I've tried to open just now and, and they haven't had anything. Okay, let's go back. Maybe I can go up to that other room? I don't know. Turn on the electricity. Yeah, that would be helpful. I agree. Love to have electricity. It's pretty much no no life that I could have, no dimension, no universe where I didn't have electricity. Can I can I break this? That's disappointing, because now you gotta walk all the way around. I mean yeah, I could cut through there, I guess. Can I go? I can't go through this. Okay. Can you unlock this? Thanks. That's something, I guess. Um. Okay, let's hop down up here. Oh, sorry. Right here. Oh my gosh, plus one pistol bullet. Oh my god.
Okay, we killed it. Thanks. Okay, it's on the other side here. Yeah, we're running... Not like really low on ammo, but low enough. I know there's a stealth function, but I'm not sure if you can stealth from those guys. It's a shame that the throwables... Pallid mask. Aren't... aren't accessible. Let's check out more forbidden knowledge. The artist spent a lot of time boating on the vast Lake Bontra train. Poetry, painting, photography. Everything seemed to become better by the shimmering water and the opalescent sky. One night, as the sailors returned to Darseto, they found a masquerade ball taking place. It must have been Perosi and Nora who invited their friends from the theater. The sailors quickly fashioned masks out of plaster of Paris and joined the festivities. They enjoyed themselves for hours before realizing time was not passing, nor could they find their friends. As they began to worry, they demanded that the guests unmasked, but they could not, because they were not wearing any masks. Hmm. Oh. Little creepy story there. Yeah, you like having a little creepy story? Is that all that I was... It's really a shame that you can't hop over just a little gap like this. Anyway, um, well, yeah, I guess, uh, I guess that's it. Can you go this way? No, you cannot. Okay. So... Jeremy was calling out for help, but Combi couldn't figure out where the voice was coming from. For a moment, Combi wondered if the boat itself was Jeremy, or if he was below it somehow. It didn't matter right now. Jeremy was clear on one thing. He wanted Combi to get the steamboat running and out of the mud. Hmm. Let's see. Well, um, I'm guessing... Let's take a look. Uh, what we got? We got a empty gas can that we can put gas into, um, from something else? Uh, wondering, do we go back to the, the place on the other side of this? You know, it's, you do a whole lot of exploring up here, but then the, the fastest shortcut that you get is this right here. There's all these throwables up here. If there's not like some kind of like monster battle that happens up here at some point, I'm gonna be kind of disappointed. Because I'd like to take advantage of using those throwables to save ammo. Okay. All right, um... So I put gas into that. But where do I get gas from? Here? Okay, I wasn't sure. See, the reason I left earlier is because I wasn't sure if I needed to get gas somewhere else and come back or something like that. But you just do everything all in this room, that's fine. I want to check that other place out before I had the chance. Or, while I had the chance. Before I didn't have the chance anymore. Because sometimes it happens in these games where you're like, Oh, I'll bookmark that place for later. And then before you know it, you're in a cutscene, and then you're back at Dorsetto. You know, and it's like, well, you, oh, you want to do that other thing? Well, too bad. You can't go back there now, so I want, that's why I wanted to go back and make sure I could go through that uh, place. Pop down.
damn. Oh my god, bro. No, what the? Dude, he's, he's crazy. Dude, uh, come on, I need to get to that throw ball. I need to get to that throw ball. Okay, good. Okay, there's a guy down there. You know, I might just leave him. Because there's like two more of those guys. Oh, damn. Yeah, come on. Come on over. Fall down. Fall down. Fall down to the fire. What? You know what? Oh my god. Okay, you know what? We can't fight these guys. Look at all of them. Holy hell. Okay, here we go. Oh my god. Can I press it? What? Oh, what happened? No! No, it's not, it's going down without me. Okay. I'll just I'll take it. I was like, am I stuck up here? Okay. Uh, I don't think there's anything over there. Oh my god. Oh! I don't have a melee weapon. Fuck. Ow. Whoa. Oh. Wait, no. There was something I could interact with back there. Oh, well. I was supposed to die. What does that mean? I bet you were supposed to die. I'm the catalyst. I had to die to make the story Thirty years ago, Frederick needed me to die. You're not making any sense, Jeremy. Find hey. your focus. Hey! What's I going on? Everyone. I didn't play my ball. Hey! I escaped hey. my doom. My destiny. Again, find hey. your focus. Hey, I'm right See, here. how come these things are dying in one hit? Oh, everything is wrong. Nothing is in hey. play. I'm right here! Calm down, Mr. Conby. What do you want? Did... Were you... Were you not talking to Jeremy right now? I haven't seen Jeremy all day. Are you all right, Detective? No. Actually, actually, I don't... I don't think so. Well, maybe. I'm gonna go... look for Jeremy. Good. Let me know if you find him. That I was got Jeremy's self-deceit, a steamboat stuck in the mud. I'm not going to pretend I understand any of that. What a bunch of psychoanalytic nonsense. <laughs> okay. See that last part when I when I interacted with the the thing that started the cutscene? There was other interactable stuff in the scene that I'm now locked out of. 
I hope I didn't miss any Lanyapes. But I may have, you know? That's what I'm talking about. It's like sometimes you just you interact with the thing and then you can't explore, so... Yeah, I don't know. But, you know, at this point, if I mess out on any forbidden knowledge, I, I think that's okay. I don't know. Um... You know, not to not to just keep coming back over and over again with this like, you know, like here and another thing. Here's another thing that drives me crazy about this game, but I I really loved like the Resident Evil style. Oh, an unexplored room has pink in it. An explored room has blue in it. I love that format. But when you go back and forth between this world and the other, and you come back, and some rooms that were blue are now pink. It gets a little frustrating. Like, on one hand, you have direction of like, aha, I have to go there. Because there's something new, there's something I haven't gotten, etc. But, at the same time, it's a little like, ah, you never feel like you've actually cleared an area. So, um, I'll go a little bit longer in this one. I know the last couple of videos have been a little short. So, I'm happy to keep going through, maybe through chapter 5, maybe until chapter 5 starts. I don't know. I would love to go out to the stair hall and unlock that hallway that we haven't been in, that, that completely gray one. I also want to look in here and see if there's something. Okay, you're being really mean to me now. I, I'm also, I'm not convinced that my game isn't like, I don't know. Is it bugged? Cause like, I'm not getting any ammo now and I was getting tons earlier. And I'm almost out. And and there's drawers that like they're like, yeah, go ahead, open it. And then I open it and I don't get anything. So, I don't know, it's just something to think about. Um in is it is it out this way? Yeah, it is. Okay. Let's start here. Just cause wait, what's the objectives? Investigate Cassandra's room, find Grace's missing drawing. Look for the treasure in Grace's drawing. Well, it might be in here. I'm excited. This is an area... Oh. No. No. I was really excited to explore this hallway. Is the dark man in Derseto now? Well, you know what? We need to go to Cassandra's room anyway, apparently. Um, so... Or, no. No, wait, it says... Investigate Cassandra's room. Well, we've done that. <laughs> so, like, it's like, now what? Also... Perosi's room is blocked off. Or locked, I guess. But it's pink. So I'm guessing we go in there. At some point. Let's go to the mezzanine. Let's go to the mezzanine first. I mean, it's right here. Why not? And I think there's also something in here. Oh my god! Ah! Oh, we got—we actually got some ammo! Ah! Ah ha! Finally! Okay, okay. Okay, good. 17. You're gonna give us 17? Dude, I mean, I'll, I'll take it. I will take it, but wow, I was not expecting that much. That's a, that's a crazy amount. It's like it's reset now that I'm back at Derseto, actually. Like when I was on the boat, it was just like, yeah, you've got enough. You you don't need any more, but now it's like, eh, fine. I'll toss you a bone. You look like you need some ammo, buddy. Yeah, I do, actually. So thank you. I'm gonna go down to surgery. I thought I already unlocked this, but all right. Cause there, it's it's pink now. So at some point we're gonna get a key. We're gonna go down there and unlock some of these other things. But until then, I'll just come down and check on my own. It might be a it might be a lanyape. It's to the right. Yeah. Even if it is just ammo, 
two drinks. Yeah, it's just loot. That's okay, though. Please. <sighs> now, is the, is the dark man gone? Did he just, like, appear? Or, or am I supposed to walk towards him? Because I just instinctively ran away, but maybe we're supposed to walk towards him? I don't know. Let's go to the grand parlor. Can I go out to the... Oh, I can't go out to the dining room. Oh, wow, we got a lot of... Look at this. Okay, we can unblock that later. That's exactly where the dark man was standing. You would think that we would be hearing him right now if he was around. Okay, we don't have the key for that. And it's blue now. Okay, good. I feel happy again. Yeah, I guess we'll go back up and... I, I was kind of expecting the dark man to pursue us. Or, or some something to happen. But I guess you just let us go. The dark man's very... I don't know. Passive? Is that the word? Should I go down to the... No, I can't do that. I think I gotta go through the stair hall. Okay. Let's do that then. Wait, where am I? Oh. It's like every time he, he comes up, you're expecting it to kind of be like... Um, Mr. X or Nemesis, you know, from Resident Evil, some kind of pursuit. It's like he's just gone now. It's like, okay. He wanted me to go in that room. First of all, I'm going to unlock this. I do hear like weird breathing. I'm going to go through these systematically if I can. This is, uh, Mr. Neat. Maybe I've been selling that old barfly short. Barfly. I would have pronounced that barfly. Because he's... He drinks a lot. Barfly. Barfly, though. That makes more like sense. Has something hidden inside. Wow. If only there was something I could use to get it. Moment of clarity. Sometimes. I think this place makes me worse. That Dossetto might be my grave. A coffin made of ostentatious architecture. A Taj Mahal for the drunken depressed. There's something about Dossetto. Something about Dr. Gray. Like we all pretend that we're here to get better. When in fact we are here to be forgotten. Wow. That is a moment of clarity, isn't it? Mr. Barfley. I'm just gonna call you Mr. Barfley from now on. Even though that's not your name. Okay, there's, uh... We gotta do something with the vent. So, we're pink for now. But that pink is gonna turn blue. Or as Jeremy would say, it's gonna toin blue. <laughs> he has this, like, affectation that I don't really understand. Like, is it supposed to be a New Orleans thing? The Kois. He calls it the Kois instead of the curse. But I thought that was like... I thought that was like a, a northeastern... regional accent of the United States. Is there anything in here? Ruth's room. There's... I mean, there's this camera. Thanks for all the bullets, but of course we don't need them here. Um, okay. Yeah, I guess we'll just go to the room at the end then, where the dark man appeared. Read the writing on the wall. This is my room. What well, is it? I belong here. All right, Amagara Fault. Oh, this room fits me. <gasps> Alanyape, Ashes of Indigo. Unspeakable cults. Right for some unspeakable cult forbidden knowledge, y'all? Derseto stands on a breeding ground for the grotesque. A temple devoted to rebellious growth. 
the most ugly and cancerous side of nature. You may be able to shield your psyche for a while, but rest assured your soul will come to pray to that hideous god in time. That is the story of every man and woman who gather around that ancient arbor. They all croak, bark, and bleat because their own bodies are afraid and they wish to repel the evil those words conjure. Ia! Ia! Instead of that blasphemous name, they gossip in hush whispers the name of their seto, Astarte, and the Black Goat of the Woods. Okay. So, wait, so that's, uh, Shub. Deceto. Is that the same? Interesting. Um, hang on one sec. I just want to see. Because we, we hear a lot from this guy. Who Who is this character again? This is the guy from uh, Tarawea. Is it Anthony? Anthony Palacios is the voice actor. Um. So who? So who are they? Oh my gosh, I accidentally clicked on something I didn't want to click on. Uh, let's see. Mm, I don't recognize them from other things. Oh, okay. There've been a few other things, but no, no I games I saw view. on the list. Oh, I know okay. the combination. I carry it with me. I carry it with me. May 15th, 1930? 196692. Hmm. Sacrificial dagger, maybe? And we'll take, we'll, we'll do that in a second. Let, let's read this. I can't believe I didn't recognize you. Is any of this real? 196 692 LA. So 692 is the safe combination. Find no, the familiar numbers. Where's that from? It's from your ID. I, I just looked at it. I wrote that. Okay. So 692. So let's say, let's start with left, I guess. Six. Nine. Two. Okay. Let's go... Oh, wait. Sorry. Okay. That's not right. Sorry! Okay. That's six. Nine. Two. Okay, I did... I did, uh, five, nine, two. Uh, Picayune. An old coin from the time when Louisiana was a Spanish colony. Look for the girl. Detective, I have made many discoveries in my case. The child we want is safe, thanks to good people like me and you. We are so similar, but you don't see all the things I do. To find your man, Jeremy, you also need to look for the girl. It has always been that way. The young deliver us all. You should have a look in my room. There's a piece of the puzzle you will need. Take care now. My coffee. Yeah, I'd love to go in there and find the missing drawing inside McCarthy's. How long have I been here? Yeah, you're a patient here, Carnby. I, I don't know. Okay, apparently we can... Okay, yeah, let's go, I guess. Uh Here we go. Um looks like McCarthy has something hidden inside. Use the coin? Oh, to unscrew the got it. The missing picture. Oh wow. Uh, that's a that's a crazy one, huh, Grace? Why would McCarthy lock this up? Was he trying to keep Grace from completing the shame? If so, couldn't she have just made another drawing? That's a good point. That's a good point, Edward. Um. 
Let's see. I'm wondering if I can go... I can go to Grace's room now. Which is just across the way, so I'm thinking we do that first? We can also get a key to Perosi's room at some point. There's also something I'm missing in the attic. Something in Lottie's room and something in the drawing room. I don't know if I'm supposed to do those. Oh, come on. Oh, ah. Excuse me. What the hell happened in here? <laughs> Are you still surprised at this point? Yeah, yeah, got him. Got him. What was that? Mm. Wait, is it like invisible or something? What the hell? Ow, ow, oh, holy shit. Oh, 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 they're flying things. Okay. We all right? Okay, we're back in the the, in the sitting room. Apparently, something is in here. It's because it's pink. Wait, is this all okay? Yeah, it's all okay now. Wait, why is this pink? It's pink in here. Oh well, let's just do the drawing, I guess. You wanna pick up the jack-in-the-box again? I don't know why you can just keep doing this. It's very strange. Huh. Oh. Every time it surprises you, huh? Okay, so we gotta rearrange them. Um... Yeah. To... to match with the rot. Is that right? There we go. I think it's right there. Hmm. There we go. Is it that? Or is it that? I think it's that. Hmm. That's right. Hmm. I guess... Is it that? I guess that's it. These look... Right, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. It's really these three that are messed up. I think it's that. 
That's wrong, though. Oh, no, this goes here. Is that right? Hmm. Okay, everything looks correct to me. Uh. Oh. There we go. Huh? What? Okay. Hmm. It says I'm in Cassandra's room right now. Kind of weird. This looks familiar. Oh, I'm does it? Back at the office. Jeremy's never been here. Writing desk key. Ooh, excuse you. Um. Yeah, so I think, um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. I want to just, like, start chapter five, but I just, I think we're at the point where they were at a good, like, stopping point for now. Um, yeah, I think I'm, I'm kind of sticking with, uh, my assessments of the game from previous videos. I think this is, like... It's like a six out of ten game for me, and it's not, like, bad. I'd say it's on the high end of mediocre at the moment. But there's just, there's so many things about it that kind of have that Callisto protocol feel to it where it's like, if they just pushed this a little more, like, I don't know, if the gameplay was a little more fun, like the combat and stuff, that would be different. It's like right now, like, I like the story a lot, even though I don't really understand 100% what's going on. But I think it's the, it's like the combat that's holding it back and like kind of, kind of the puzzles too. Um, I'm not a big fan of the puzzles so far. So yeah, I think those, those two things are kind of holding the rest of it back. But uh, yeah, let me know what you thought about um, this video and about Alone in the Dark so far, and I'll see you in the next video. Think critically.